Welcome to learn it. We have already completed the basic two topics of this chapter which is about the sexual reproduction and the sexual reproduction. So we'll move on to the third topic which is known as reproduction in organism topic 3. The topic we will be starting is the event in sexual reproduction. There are certain three steps involving in this kind of sexual reproduction. The first is known as pre-fertilization. The middle one is known as fertilization. And the last one is known as post-fertilization event. Now let me tell you what is pre-fertilization. All the events which are before the fertilization or in, we can say that all the events prior to the fusion of gametes are included in pre-fertilization. For example, it has two topics. The first is gametogenesis and the second one is gamete transfers. When these kind of things happen in free fertilization, the second step comes which is fertilization. Now what is fertilization? It is the fusion of male and female gametes which is called fertilization in animals and syngamy in plants. It is called and syngamy in plants. Now what happens in fertilization is one set of chromosome which is known as haploid set of chromosome from male and a haploid set of chromosome for, from female denoted by N fuse with each other and result in the formation of a diploid zygote. Two haploid chromosome is converted into diploid chromosome which is known as diploid zygote. The last topic or the last event in this kind of sexual reproduction is known as post fertilization events this event occurs after the development of the zygote or the fusion of the zygote so it is known as event in the sexual reproduction after the formation of the zygote anything taking place or any changes in the zygote comes under these kind of post fertilization event when the development of zygote begins in fertilization only the fusion of zygote begins and in pre-fertilization, no zygote has been developed because it is in the first round of production in which only gametogenesis which is the production of gametes and second gamete transfer which is the transfer of gametes from one place to another from male to female occurs. Now the main topic which is first pre-fertilization event whatever happens in pre-fertilization events is given here. It basically involves the formation of male and female gametes by two individuals of opposite sex which is the formation of male gamete in males and the formation of female gametes in female. Second is all the offsprings are produced by the formation or the fusion of these kind of male and female gametes and basically these two are not identical means male gamete and female gamete are distinct. Next is all the reproducing organisms share a similar pattern of reproduction which is sexually. The last is in sexual reproduction only the fusion of male and female gametes result in offspring and the offspring produced are not identical to the parents which means they are not the clone of each other as in case of a sexual mode of reproduction. As we Pre-fertilization event has been divided into two categories. The one is known as gametogenesis and the second one is known as gamete transfer. So let us discuss about the first topic which is gametogenesis. Now what is gametogenesis? It is basically the process of formation of male and female gametes. Now what is gamete? Is? Gametes are haploid cells. Haploid means it is of single chromosomes which may be similar or dissimilar in structure depending on the organisms. Now it has been divided into two categories. One is known as homogametes which is also known as isogametes. In this kind of homogametes both gametes are similar which means male is also having the same type and structure of chromosome and the female will also be having the same structure and type of chromosome in case of algae only. And when we are moving to the different type of organism like in humans, they are having heterogametes. Heterogametes means the structure of sperm and ovum of humans are morphologically distinct or structurally and functionally different. For in case of higher organisms are the examples. Now gametes are always in a haploid set of structure. 
haploid means they will be only in a half the set of chromosomes when it is in an individual which means if sperm of a man is there it will have only half set of chromosomes and the female will also have the half set half set of chromosomes the next is the male gametes are also called as anthrozoids in plants and sperm in animals or humans in females gametes are basically called called ovum or egg in animal species having both male and female reproductive organ it is a special case in which a species animal species having both male and female reproductive organs in an same individual it is called bisexual or hermaphrodites in case of examples are earthworm sponges type form etc let us move to the next topic which is gamete transfer now what does the basically the gamete transfer means is when the male gametes is transferred from one place to another to the female gametes it is known as gamete transfer now there is an exception of fungi and algae in which both the gametes of male also and the female also are motile motile means they can move from one place to another for the process of fertilization but normally only the male gametes are motile and the female gametes are non motile in case of algae fungi bryophyta and pteridophytes the basic medium of transfer is water so that gametes can move from one place to another and male gametes can fertilize them in this case for getting good chances of fertilization the male gametes number is much more than the female gametes in case of plants pollen grains are carrier of male gametes and ovule has egg so that the pollen grains can go and fertilize the ovule which contains egg for the process of fertilization here pollen grains transfer from anther to stigma if in a flower from anther to stigma it is carried out it is called fertilization and when it is transferred from anther to stigma of pollen grains it is called pollination now the first event has been completed and will be moving on to the our second step which is known as fertilization event our pre fertilization event has been completed will be moving on to the fertilization event now what is the fertilization means is it is basically the fusion of male and female gametes which is called fertilization in animals and syngamy in plants it result in the formation of diploid zygote now how does this diploid zygote comes as the individual is having haploid zygote when the two haploid zygote fuse with each other they become diploid zygote 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 now these kind of fertilization event has been divided into two parts the first is external fertilization and the second one is known as internal fertilization now in external fertilization if the fertilization process takes place outside the body of the organism that is in any of the medium for example if it is water it is called as external fertilization for example algae fishes and amphibians these are some of the examples which does the external fertilization some of them and when we are talking about internal fertilization it is a process when the fertilization takes place inside the body of an organism basically in these kind of internal fertilization the female egg is non motile and it is inside the female and due to the motility of the sperm of male this kind of internal fertilization occurs for example in humans in this kind of fertilization there are basically two things to be kept in mind the first definition is known as parthenogenesis and second is parthenocarpy now what does the parthenogenesis means is it is basically the process of development of new organism without the fertilization of female gamete if these kind of things happen it is called as parthenogenesis in animals for examples honey bee rotifers and lizards are some of the examples of parthenogenesis in which there is no fertilization of female gametes but it is included in sexual type of reproduction because the fertilization happens without the fertilization of female gametes and in case of plants it is called as parthenocarpy when the food is produced without the fertilization of ovules 
which results in the final product of seedless fruit that fruit will be not having any of the seeds that's why it is known as seedless fruit also and the seedless fruit has been created due to the process of parthenocarpy now both the topics the pre and the fertilization both events has been completed now we'll be moving on to our last topic which is post fertilization event what happens when the fusion happens of the male and the female haploid chromosomes and now it is converted into a diploid so formation which is known as zygote now what is post fertilization event all the events all the things which will be happening after the se sexual reproduction or after the formation of zygote it is known as post fertilization event these kind of event has been divided into two categories the first is zygote <laughs> formation and the second one is embryogenesis now let us take in detail what is zygote formation zygote is basically a link between the continuity of species and organism from one generation to the next every sexually reproducing organisms which can include human beings and animals begins a life as a single cell which is known as zygote we all begins with a single cell and we all are known as zygotes when we are in this single cell forms each organism an organism having external fertilization zygote is formed in external medium which is water and those having internal fertilization the zygote is formed inside the female body a special thing is that in external fertilization the large number of eggs are produced and large number of sperms are produced by the organism so that they can ensure the fertilization occurs and internal fertilization only less number of eggs are produced because it is in secured manner let us move to the next topic which is embryogenesis now what does the embryogenesis means it is the basically the development of embryo from the zygote it is called as development of embryo from the zygote it has two following process what happens in embryogenesis after the formation of zygote which is the formation of diploid chromosomes from the haploid set of chromosomes from the parents it is converted into zygote now this zygote has a process of cell division with the help of mitosis now what does the cell division it is basically the increase in the number of cells one is divided into two and two is divided into four now how does this happens is with the help of mitosis mitosis means one into two the one cell is divided into two cells with equal individuals it is again divided into cell differentiation now what is the cell differentiation when the cell division occurs the number of cells increases now different cells will have different types of functions so the cell differentiation occurs and it helps in the formation of different types of tissues and these tissue will help in the formation of different types of organ organs for example our brain our hands develops into different kinds of organs now the last thing is it is based on the development of embryo it is divided into two parts for example if a organism happens to be outside the body or develop outside the body it is called a different name and when it is inside the human body it is called as different name so embryogenesis in animals is divided into two parts the first is known as oviparous and viviparous now what is oviparous as the name suggest development of zygote takes place outside the body of organism and lay fertilized of unfertilized eggs which means in case of reptiles and birds they lay eggs outside the body and then the development of zygote takes place these kind of process is known as oviparous and the second one is known as viviparous viviparous means all the development of zygote takes place inside the body of the female of an organism and then it produces the young ones for example in humans dogs horses etc we don't lay eggs and these kind of process is known as viviparous one more topic is there which is known as embryogenesis in plants now what does in plants happens is in these flowering plants because zygote is formed inside the ovule after fertilization it is divided into sepals petals and stamens of flowers these all fall off from the fruits after the embryogenesis occurs all these parts for example sepals petals and stamens which are not in use now due to the fertilization process has been completed these fall off from the plant the next step the zygote develops into embryo 
and ovules into the seed all the thing developing inside the female body of an plant is converted into two things the zygote develops into embryo and ovules into seeds now the ovary develops into fruit and which develop a thick wall called pericarp pericarp is the outermost covering of a fruit which help it to protect itself from different kinds of things after dispersal seed germinate under favorable condition to produce new plant which means when the seeds are dispersed from anything from a plant when it is picked from the tree it will germinate under favorable condition if it is getting good condition it will again start to produce a new plant with or without help of any of the medium now let me have a talk about the one of the special things which comes under asexual reproduction which is also known as terror of bengal and basically it is water hyacinth now what is the terror of bengal is uh, it is one of the most invasive weed which means it grows wherever there is standing water and it drains all the oxygen from the water and leads to the death or the death of the fishes it was not in india but it was introduced in in india because it has very good flowers and shape of leaves due to its phenomenal rate of propagation which is known as dividation it has been known as terror of bengal because it is growing everywhere in the region of bengal that's why it is known as terror of bengal it always come in the examination also so please have a look at it and please learn it that's it for today's video i hope you have understood the topics very well but for more understanding i, I urge all of you to repeat this video again for clearer understanding if you like the video and its content give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment your name in the comment section if you are unable to understand or is struggling in any of the topic please write the topic in the comment section i'll sure surely try to get to you soon so for more of such videos stay tuned to the channel stay safe stay healthy and don't forget to learn it